Andrew Rogers has come to the Yucca Valley in California to create two monumental stone sculptures, or geoglyphs. I find something sacred in a landscape. I look for a rhythm or a pulse to invoke the past. It's so important that we build a symbol that's right for the land and for the people. A symbol that will reach back and connect with the past as well as mean something for future generations. Now you can see a fantastic array of petroglyphs here. And again, the patination's really old, so these are ancient. And you can see this spear here, and it's got a circle with the shaft of the spear passing through it. That's what we're going to create on the ground. There we go. Using GPS technology, they can turn the maps in their hands onto the canvas of the earth. They come straight across. It's day one. This is a clean canvas. It's taken six years to get here to be able to draw on it. So it's going to be an interesting process. Andrew has always been fascinated by the use of stone and the way it's intrinsic to cultures around the world that often share the same building techniques, even though they're geographically dispersed. He's also intrigued by the ancient techniques used by the legendary stonemasons of Machu Picchu and similar techniques found today in various cultures. The people of Yucca Valley are really excited to have this. Uh, it's the first one uh, of, of Andrew Rogers' uh, glyphs in North America. And here it is in Yucca Valley. And you can look at it and kind of take any kind of meaning you want out of it. it has a, it's a dancing kind of a shape, a flowing shape, and uh, rhythms of life. You know, it's a, how can you argue with that? It's something that it, it speaks to all of us. Both sculptures are nearly finished, and it's wonderful for the team to see the idea start to take its final shape, from being just a concept on a piece of paper into an enigma on the desert floor that will attract the curious and adventurous in the years to come. Local Indians celebrate the completion of a sculpture that recognizes the ancestors who lived on this land where the geoglyphs now stand. This gallery with no walls is often best viewed from the sky. Seeing the work finished from up here is always an extraordinary experience for me. You can really see the vastness of the desert and our work in its true perspective. Over time, thick snow will fall, visitors will come and go, and our structures will disappear as if they are drawings on the earth. 